Hi and welcome to my first Arduino video. I have created a little circuit board which loops through um, an SOS sequence. Now I wanted to use three different LEDs because I wanted to show students visually where we were in the code. So on the first part of the SOS, on the first S, the blue LED flashes, followed by the shorter dash dash dash, which is the orange LED, and then the final part of the SOS, which is the red LED. I've uh, colour coded the LEDs using the wires so you can see uh, clearly how to connect it all up. I've used three 220 ohm resistors but I've also included a sound buzzer which um, when you hold down the switch it actually uh, creates a circuit to the buzzer and the buzzer will sound out the SOS pattern as well. The outputs that I've used for this are um, for the red LED it's two, number four is the orange and six is the blue. Output eight is used for the sound. So let's see it working and then I'll talk you through the code. Okay, so looking through this code, it's actually really simple. I've borrowed heavily from the uh, Blink example, which is provided with the Arduino software. The first thing I do is I set up four uh, variables. I've got LED 1, 2, 3, and buzzer. And those variables are going to be used to help us identify the output locations on the Arduino board. I've set uh, uh, the outputs to 6, 4, and 2 for the LEDs and 8 for the buzzer. So when we run the void setup, what we say to our, the Arduino board is set LED 1, 2 and 3 and the buzzer as outputs because by default they're set to inputs. So we use the pin mode function to do that. When we go into the void loop section of the code, we start our for loop and we're going to loop through this three times. We turn a, a light and buzzer on, we wait for about a tenth of a second and then we turn them off again and we wait a tenth of a second. That loops through three times, and once it's done that, we're going to have a delay of 500, which is the same as half a second. We then turn on the next light, and that code is exactly the same as the top, except the delays are slightly longer. So we turn on the second light, and we set the buzzer to go off. We wait half a second. We turn the light off and the buzzer off, and we wait another half a second. Once we've looped through that three times, we then have a delay of a tenth of a second, and we start the final loop, which is the uh, the red light. We then loop through three times. We set the buzzer on. We set the light on. We wait a tenth of a second. We turn them off. We wait a tenth of a second. And we then, at the very end, have a half a second delay until we loop through right to the beginning again. And that's it. That's how you get it working. The actual switch is um, works because when you hold the button down, it creates a circuit which allows um, the buzzer to go off. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's nice and easy. Um, if I was to extend this further, I'd probably introduce the idea of functions, um, you know, to kind of stretch uh, more able students a little bit more. So, yeah, see you next time.